welcome back. You ready for round two? I don't know about you, but I've really enjoyed that first round. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm liking what I see so far. There's some new rules that I need to introduce to you uh, this, this round, I think. Significantly about what we can do with these tokens, because not only are we collecting these to help us down the road, each of these tokens can be used to kind of mitigate some of the, the bad stuff that's going on around us. And that's where there's a balancing act. Understanding when the immediate threats are high enough that you have to use some of your resources. And when instead to save them for upcoming... For the upcoming travel action. Now we learnt that we need to get four road cards here. And then we have to play this, pay this toll. And the toll is going to be a set of random uh, resources cards, these things. And if we're playing three players, it's going to be three at random. Two players, one, four players, five. So there's going to be a toll to get us out of the wilderness into salvation. So that's one of the, the things about this game. You're going to have to amass as enough resources here in your truck to travel and have enough to what you think might be enough to pay the toll. Um, there's a handy reference guide here on the prototype type rules that tells us it's got the round overview, the available actions, there's some actions we've not used yet, um, the different types of wounds that we've seen already, and then resource uses. So for example, food um, can prevent famine card effects, you can gain an extra action. Ammo lets you reroll threats and perform the shoot action. Medication prevents pestilence card effects and perform the heal action. And then fuel drive up to two characters and required for all road cards. So this is a way of, of getting around a lot quicker. These location abilities are, are one use only and you've got some markers here to record when you've used the location. So a little bit of housekeeping that keeps track of what you've done and what you haven't. Okay, let's start with Rosa or Hank. I'm going to move... Rosa, I think. She's going to come over here and help out her partner Hank and discard one med token and that allows her to heal a character or location, herself or another, and remove three unrevealed wing tokens. Next I think we'll go for Jose Berrios and what we're going to do is gather both these fuels, I think him full. Then we're going to use the ability of Maldito Motors. Before or after resolving an action, resolve a free move ignoring character abilities. Okay, and this is where we take one of these location kind of exhaustion markers and we mark that there. We can't use that again. Now let's move Jose back to the compound because his Character card's full, I don't want him having to face Marauders this turn and drop the items he's picked up. And now he can use his free, remember to get one free transfer action, and we can move as many resources as we wish to the truck. Just place them here. Now I think we'll do, I think we'll do Rashid. First let's use our free action to put this food down in the truck. And one nice way to save resources is you've got the three times. So if I, I got three food here, I could just put one here and put those back in the supply. Right, so it's a handy way of um, saving resource tokens. And I think what we'll do is we'll have Rashid move up alongside his hero Hank in the hospital and then do a search action. You'll notice there's only one resource left here, a med pack. All right, so we want to find some more stuff. Let's have a search around. So the first thing we do is increase the threat here. We're making lots of noise, we're attracting those marauders. Draw a new search card and we got two bullets and a med pack. Awesome. Excellent, that's him done. We can't heal here because we don't have any unrevealed wound tokens, so it's back to Hank. 
He's over here at the satellite station. So the first thing he must do, because he's delayed, is use his first action to recover, stand back up. And then for our second action, I think we'll take one wound to scout. So we'll cover that up. Take a wound. And we're scouting ahead. Now this time, we're going to put another road card down, but it doesn't come from the top, it comes from the bottom. Alright, so we don't know. But it's going to be meds and fuel. It's going to be a surprise for us. It is meds and fuel. So that, all that does is puts another card down. But it does give us some indication. Now we can travel without having explored and, and, and seen what, what's there. But we're taking a risk. I mean, we don't know if we want three meds and one fuel or one med and three fuels, you know. But you can take a calculated risk. So once more, Van Rider Games is giving us a new mechanism, something that I've not seen before. I really like this. You know, it's, uh, it's a good job. They're doing a great job here. Right, who's up next? It's Carl Murphy, who's here at Sandy Storage. And for his first action, we're going to search. So, threat goes up. Notice that if we reach the end of this track, there's a skull icon here. And then we put one of these location used tokens and it becomes overrun. What that means is you can no longer use the location's ability. And when you search, you only get one resource. Okay, it's of your choice from the search card, but not the whole the whole lot. But, um, otherwise you can move there as normal. What do we get? Two ammo and a soup. So yeah, if we were overrun for example, we could choose either one ammo or one soup. A food. On food to ammo. Nice. For my second action, then let's gather one of these ammo. Um, we didn't get to use his ability. That's okay. That's okay. Next up, here's Juan. Juan's going to use both his actions to gather. Let's gather up these two ammo. And I think I'll use his fetch ability. Once per round, send a resource to or from a character or the truck. So let's send, let's send this to the truck. And then we'll use St. Joseph Hospital. If you end your activation here, you may discard one unrevealed wound. Brilliant. Now let's do some threat rolling. Let's start up here with uh, Hank and Rashid. So it's Two dice plus one for the threat level. Oh, and Rashid's got ability. Roll one additional die. Yeah. <laughs> ability. He's a screamer. He says <laughs> so. Yeah, he's making a lot of noise. Uh, three wings. One, two, three. Let's share them out. Well, our Rashid's going to get them. Three wounds can be healed by a med pack, so I'm happy with that. Next up is Sandy Storage for Carl. So that's two dice, one for Carl, one for the threat level. That's one wound. Next were at the satellite station with Rosa and Hank. So that's one, two, zero modifier. And Rosa can re-roll any wounds. Oh, two blanks. I like that. All right. Next up then is the apocalypse phase. Let's see what we get. It's another famine. We either increase. The location's threat. Oh goodness. I might have to ignore this one. Yeah, let's do that. This is a famine as well as a famine. Desperation. We're going to ignore it. Now we've got war, and this one we have to do. So, first up, oh my goodness, five marauders um, are placed on the fence. They came when we least expected it. We won't last much longer if we stay here. And we didn't leave many players back at the compound to defend it. 
And it does say you can cancel one Marauder placement for each character of the compound who takes a second wound. Characters are going to take a, a single wound, you see. So let's take a wound. Jose Barrios is the only one there, so he's going to take a wound. That will cancel one Marauder. So instead of five, we'll have four. That's pretty intense. So four motorcycles. And we'll give Jose his second wound. Not looking pretty. Let's refresh. Leave the first player token on. And start the next round with Jose, I think. And because we're at the compound, there's another action we can take. It's called rest. So at the compound you can fight, shoot, or rest. So it's a rest. We take a red threat die. And we give it a roll. And we discard the indicated number of unrevealed wound tokens. We got a blank. So no good. Let's try that again for a second action. One wound. So Jose managed to remove one wound. Yeah, that's no good, is it? I was hoping for one of these double wounds. There's two blank sides. Next up is Juan Logo. And I'm going to use his fetch for his first action. Um, no, it's not an action, it's just ability. Once per round, Juan may send a resource to the truck or another character. I'm going to send the ammo over to Rosa. And then for my first action, I'm going to gather... Actually, I'm going to gather twice. Gather, gather. Take these final two med packs, and then I'm going to use the hospital's ability. Remove that wound. I think we'll activate Rosa. Move her back to the compound. And she's going to try and get rid of some of these marauders. So we take the shoot action. We discard an ammo token. And that allows us to remove three marauders from the fence. And for my free transfer, let's move the fuel that she's carrying back to the truck. No car. He's going to gather that last piece of ammo. Then we're going to use his commanding influence. Once we're moved to an occupied location, that includes the compound, and another character there performs one action. I was kind of tempted to go over here and have Hank use the satellite station, but no, what's the point? He can, he can do that anyway. Yeah, now why don't we? Let's move over here, and we'll have Hank do his thing. Take one wound to scout. Take a wound. We'll use the satellite station and we'll scout. It's a soup and fuel. Now Rashid. Um, I need to move him out of this location for sure. Let's move over here. With my first action. Let's do a search. Two fuels and a med pack. And then we'll use mold. To Motor's ability to move back to the compound. Lastly, then it's poor old Hank. Let's get him out of here. Let's move over here. Pick up this med pack. And there's a chance he's going to drop it again this turn. But what can you do? Let's do his location first, shall we? So we've got one threat and one person. That's two. We're hoping for nothing more than one. Zero. Excellent. Excellent. Let's do uh, Carl Murphy next. So it's just one die for him. And it is a wound. He needs to get out of there. And then finally, Juan. It's got a threat level of one here, so it's two dice. One for him, one for the location. And it's one wound as well. Let's draw our Apocalypse card. It's another war card. Characters of the compound take one wound. It's 
That's Rashid, Rosa, and Jose. Alright, I think we're okay with this one. Do we need the extra time? I think we possibly do. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's ignore it. Let's do... No, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm happy with that. If I have to die so that others might live, so be it. And we get five marauders. And obviously we can cancel as well. Let's take two wounds somewhere. Each character gets a wound. So that's one for Jose, one for Rosa, one for Rashid. I've got Rosa take an extra one. And we'll have... No, that'll do. That'll do. Let's just place four more orders then. One, two, three. And then we get our first buggy. Things are getting pretty tense. We've got two of the four ammo. We've got the one fuel that we need for the rock slide. But we've got a couple that Carl, Carl should be bringing back next time. He's got three to bring back. And we need med packs and some food. There's probably enough food for that next road card. And we've got one more road card to reveal. Okay. Join me next time as we continue Salvation Road.